What's up guys, it's Crash, and I have some gameplay of some new features uh, that are being revealed today for Devlog 2 that's coming with the update point to um, Night Ops that's coming to Grey Zone Warfare. So I got some clips a little bit early, so thank you to Madfinger for sending those my way uh, that I'm now able to talk about with some of the things that you're gonna be seeing in Devlog 2. Now, after you check this video out, you might wanna go over to Madfinger's official channels. They're gonna be announcing some more stuff. Unfortunately, I'm just as bummed as you guys are we don't have a release date yet for point two. They said on their Twitter today that they are not gonna give a date for patch point two uh, for night ops. And that's a huge bummer because I'm really hoping this comes out sooner rather than later, as I'm sure all of you guys are as well. But here are some of the things that you're gonna be seeing in that, as well as after you watch this video, either check out their Twitch stream that's gonna be a couple hours after this video goes live, or I'm sure they usually post a VOD over on their YouTube channel and they probably have a little bit more detail and some other stuff um, that they're gonna reveal. But for those of you that wanna see some of the gameplay stuff and talk about it, let's go over it. So the first thing, uh, I feel like I had a little something to do with this as the starter of the Make Shotguns Great Again movement. Uh, supposedly shotguns have been buffed, so we're gonna be able to one tap stuff uh, early on, which is gonna be awesome, as well as nine millimeter. Now, I don't wanna see shotguns like destroy people. I do think you have to be really careful with shotguns um, with the uh, pin and the uh, damage simulation that they have going on with body parts and stuff, right? So if you guys know, this is not a normal pool of HP. If a pellet goes through and hits a vital organ, they're toast, just like real life. So shotguns, you gotta be really careful with because they have a bunch of pellets and they get always one shot like all the time. So you have to be careful with them. Uh, but something was up with them and hopefully they got it fixed and they got it buffed to where I think it'd be really fun, just like they're doing right here in the starter town, uh, roll around early on. I think the penetration should be really terrible, but if you're just shooting uh, the flip-flop gang in the start of the game in the early round, in the early village, Shotguns would be awesome. I think it'd be a lot of fun to use them, um, as well as nine millimeter. It should be viable to switch to the to the sidearm. Would be really cool. Um, now we're actually going to see some new guns, and I will say right now, guys, in real life, I am very much a 1911 enjoyer. I know you can't see them in this camera, but up on my wall behind me is a 1911. I love uh, that handgun. I'm a big, big fan um, of the 1911. So we're going to see the 1911 in the beginning. These are some of the new AK stuff. So it's going to be the AK Ratnik series. And, it, you know, we already saw that the MP5 was coming, uh, but now we're going to see the AK Ratnik, which is like the AK 308, 103. There's like four or five different AK variations um, that are becoming this way, as well as they mentioned 545 AP ammo is going to be a little bit earlier on accessible uh, in the starter village. So it might make sense to run some of these new AKs in the starter village as well. Uh, but and then as well as the AK 74U. Um, so seeing those, it's awesome, man. I love the 1911 being in there. I will, pro even though it might not be the most viable, I will probably carry one because it's my favorite. It's my favorite handgun to shoot uh, IRL at the range as well. So big 1911 fan, really happy to see it come to the game. Um, this is the first shot at weapon durability. Now we're gonna need to learn more about this as it goes on. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about weapon durability coming to the game now and not being able to repair it until the point three update. So that's a little bit weird, uh, but you do have to say with this game, you can't say it, it looks bad. Like you can see um, as it goes on, as the, the shot moves through, you can see the actual wear um, on the firearm. It's really cool um, to see. And the wear marks and everything, the textures, is on each individual part. I remember them talking about that. Um, each individual part of the gun wears down. It's not just an overall camo. Um, so you can have like mix and match parts uh, of different wear values, but it, it looks crazy. So that'll be really cool to see. I'm just a little bit apprehensive about a gun being able to wear out and not being able to fix it. But if a gun lasts a really long time, that's not gonna matter because if you think about it, if the, if the durability is really slow to start out with, that's really my hope because if a gun takes a long time to wear out, you're probably gonna die with it. Or if you survived long enough for the gun to wear out, you probably have enough money to buy a new one. So I'm hoping that's kind of how it balances out. I still am a little bit concerned. And then this is another really cool shot of the ballistic system. I always suspected, I don't think they came out and said it, um, but I, I kind of suspected something is up with the bullet simulation. Um, so they're kind of showing us here. Now that is a really tight shotgun pattern. Talking shotguns, and this might be some way that they can balance it. Um, I'm I know more about shotgun ballistics than a lot of stuff. Um, that is a little tight of a pattern. There's usually more dispersion. Maybe they got a crazy tight choke tube on there that looks more like a comp. 
Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, I thought something was up with the simulation a little bit, um, but on this shot, you can kind of see it, um, some kind of feedback metrics on how it worked out. So with the first pistol shots, you can see one shot miss. Um, the other shots, it's kind of cool. The trajectories turn yellow as they go in. The red, I do believe, you guys will have to work with me if I said something stupid, tell me in the comments. Um, the red is like the wound channel, so the expansion. Uh, the the Where the trajectory turns to yellow looks like where it first hits. You can see it here because the, the, the bullet ricochets off the person. Um, and then uh, these are the cavities. So you see the cavities and uh, the circles where they where they do damage and hit. So hopefully that stuff's tightened up. Uh, they mentioned neck shots are more lethal now. Um, so hopefully things feel a little bit more like realistic and we got to be really careful with the AI. Again, I know people are excited to see AI change. Um, this was a really cool quality of life thing that I didn't expect. You can see on the left, hopefully my face, yeah, my face isn't in the way too bad. You can see over on the left, player one hits a waypoint, player two, the homie gets to see it. So that's really cool. They can see it. They can also see the waypoint up top on the compass. So that's really good too. Um, so now you can share waypoints early in the game or how it is now you have to be like you have to call out the grid right like i'm talking about the tree line at 153 153 that's where i'm looking and okay i guess we'll move there now you can just click it you guys can see it on your blue tracker hit the road so i like that a lot um the other thing uh this is another little quality of life thing it makes the game look a little better you can look at 3d models of everything now when you're inspecting stuff you can spin your gun around you can send your character around and make sure that fanny pack is fitting just right i always wear a fanny pack in game it's important um looks like we get a little bit of a sneak peek at some of the higher tier loot as well um, but you can spin your gun around and check it out um, the other thing that we're talking about here is there is now a way to move or excuse me to kind of view stuff and sort stuff in your inventory quickly um, they're adding the tabs over here where you can see stuff i don't see an auto sort button i hope that is coming soon there's been so much talked about with this game i can't remember off the top of my boomer brain um, if they talked about an auto thing coming you guys can let me know in the comments if they're going to bring an auto sort into the game uh, but right now this looks like uh, you can sort it by weapons, mags, weapon parts, looks like helmets, nods, clothing probably. This looks like armor, rig, nades, health, water, and food. Uh, this will probably be repair kits eventually and keys. So you can hit that, it'll highlight the stuff on your stash and uh, you're ready to rock. So hopefully I'm not missing stuff out. Also, I'm not 100% sure on the auto sort. I'm hopeful. So you have to guys have to correct me in the comments if I miss that one. Um, the other thing, about this too that are, is not showed in this but mentioned in the devlog is uh cases are coming so web, like i believe weapons cases meds cases stuff like that cases you can put stuff in and free up your inventory and, and organize a little bit better so cases will be awesome they did they did mention they will be really tough to get so which as they should be cases are really cool something to grind for something to go get um this is kind of interesting right now it's not going to be so we get a look at, you guys saw that they teased the other day on Twitter, there's gonna be some different kind of hand gestures you can do. Um, if you're moving in somewhere quietly, you can actually move that. Um, you can actually use hand gestures to communicate in game. Um, what this is, is you can see in the low right, you have been marked as an aggressor for hurting your faction members. So this is instantly uh, marking players as an aggressor so you can know who did what and be careful of them, report them, and kind of move on from the situation. What was really interesting in the devlog they mentioned that this was going to be the start of kind of laying the groundwork, the, the code framing for the um, uh, for the rogue PMC. So there will be a time later on in one of the future updates. I can't remember exactly which one where someone can be a rogue PMC, can't use the base, could be uh, haunted by other PMCs now. Um, and that's a way you can go. So and you'll have to do different quests and missions, I think, to get back into your PMC faction if possible um the other thing i noticed in this shot you can really see the wear um on this gun you can see the wear marks on the on the eotech um as well as the firearm is uh pretty crazy definitely like dirty almost dirty too um so that that's going to be really cool to see and pay attention to um the other thing you can see the countdown in the top items restock in zero minutes and they restock so it's going to make gear a little bit more scarce so they talked about gear fear in there um but you guys can see right away how that is the sorting menu is here as well on the right um but yeah so it's only 10 and 10 like 10 rigs and 10 uh, vests right there 
So that might not be, uh, that, that's not very many. Um, so if that's how it's going to be, it's going to be at the, it's going to be interesting. It'll make gear fear a little higher. The thing I do have concerns about this as well. If something that you want to buy is not in stock, are people just going to hop servers, right? Find another, get out, get back in, find another server and see if it's in stock there, depending on how scarce it is and how much they want the item. That's kind of a, an exploit or a workaround. I wonder how that goes. So, uh, that's just something in my mind, but anyway, guys, um, I think that's pretty much everything that's going to be in this devlog. Again, that's kind of a sneak peek a couple hours before they do um, the live stream over on their Twitch channel. Uh, some of the stuff looks really cool. I'm excited for 1911. I'm excited for shotguns to be viable, uh, handguns to be viable. I'm excited um, to be able to mark waypoints on the map. I think that is really good. Uh, some of the new guns in the start of town will be, will be cool to see. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sold on the durability. Like we'll see how that goes without the ability to fix it. Uh, but seeing the ballistic simulation, maybe getting some patchwork and, and getting fine tuned and more, uh, in a working condition. I'm excited to see that as well. And, uh, we'll just see how it goes, but yeah, definitely bummed out. That there's going to be no date i think it's going to be cool to find a uh, high tier loot on the map as well um and get that back and sell it to make money um, a lot of this stuff with update point two i'm excited about but i am getting to the point i just need a date man just give me a date please 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 i want to know when it's coming out hopefully that is not too far around the corner um guys thank you so much for checking out this video i really appreciate you going through this with me um i love covering games i love covering um this game is kind of uh you know it's a journey from from where it is now to to 1.0 it's pretty cool to talk about this stuff again thank you to madfinger for sending this stuff over to me um to take a look at i really do appreciate that as well and guys i would love to see you on the next one